I don't always celebrate Cinco de Mayo, but when I do, I do it with tacos. <laughs> And yes, everybody, today we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo because today is Cinco de Mayo and what better way to do it that with an amazing Wayu Picaña we have here and tacos. We're going to make some Wayu Picaña tacos for you guys. I think you're going to love it. I'm going to make two different sauces. And the first thing we're going to be creating for you will be the salsas. The Mexican salsas are a staple on the Mexican kitchen and they are great for enchiladas and for topping tacos. In this case, I'm going to be creating two different salsas for you. The salsa verde, which is associated with the street tacos, and the salsa rojas, which is the ones that moms make at home. Both of them have exactly the same ingredients. The only difference will be the type of tomato we're going to use on them. Here you have some green tomatoes, also known as tomatillos, some Roma tomato, four serrano chiles, garlic, and half a white onion. And it's time to grill those veggies, so let's light up that grill. The process of grilling vegetables is called tatemado in Spanish. And the idea is to get those flavors of the charcoal in the veggies. You see those little burns in there? You might call it burns, but I call them flavor. If you pay close attention to what I'm doing, you're gonna see that I'm putting the veggies in two different bags. And I have a reason for it. One of the bags is going to be for the salsa verde, the other one is going to be for the salsa roja. Say it, roja. And of course, I'm going to be using my mocha header for these kind of things because it was created for it. I have some salt and two of those garlic cloves that we grilled before, and I'm going to start pounding these things up until they become a paste. After that paste is ready, I'm going to be putting these two serrano chiles in there and I'm going to start pounding up. Believe me, two serrano chiles is good enough. If you don't want to cry, don't add any more. Pounding and pounding we go until we create a paste again. And then after that, we're going to be adding our onion to the moncajete. Remember, this is a grilled onion. It's full of flavors. And we repeat the process again. We're going to start pounding this onion until it becomes a paste. After that paste is ready, we're going to be adding our tomatoes. Tomatoes or tomatoes, however you call them, I don't care. We're just gonna add two of them in here and we're gonna start pounding on them. In this case, we don't wanna pound them until they become a paste. We want those chunky things swimming around and that's gonna be amazing and it's gonna add a lot of body to the sauce. I end up adding all four tomatoes in there and as you can see, it's looking delicious. And this is the important part, guys. Add the liquid that is in the back. All those veggie liquids, add them in there and mix them up. This part is 100% optional, but if you like cilantro, this is the time to add them into the sauce. Tortillas. We're gonna make the tortillas exactly how it says in the back. Nothing fancy about it. This is super easy. Easy as Sunday morning. Two cups of this corn flour is gonna give you about 19 tortillas. That is a lot. This bag is huge. I'm mixing that with a quarter cup of the lard we used in the video we made last week and then a cup and a half of water. And after that, it's just a matter of mixing, mixing and squishy, squishy and toasty, toasty. And guys, this is so easy. I don't really need to explain these things to you. Anyway, I'm going to put the whole recipe down there in the description. So let's check it out. And while you look at these images, I think it's going to be more interesting for me to share a few things that I found about tacos over the internet. The name taco actually has a colorful history and it's believed that taco first referred to the dynamite that was used in the silver mines in Mexico. The gunpowder in this dynamite was wrapped tightly in paper, much like a modern taco ingredients are wrapped in a tortilla. When you think about it, a wayu picaña with a good sauce wrapping a tortilla is really like a stick of dynamite. Oh man, check this out. In 2017, Joey Chestnut broke the world record. He ate 126 tacos in eight minutes. That's 15 tacos a minute. How many tacos you can eat in a day, brother? I would love to invite this guy over. And you see, I told you it was going to be easy. After all that mixery mixery and squeakery squeakery and toastery toastery, we get these beauties here. 
You see all those brown spots in there? That's flavor. That is flavor. Everybody rise from their seats. The queen is here. Oh man, you guys know that I love picanha because it's the queen and it's because it's amazing. And if it's an American Wagyu picanha, that's even more special to me. Look at the marbling on that meat. Look at the fibers. Look at the beauty. This is just awesome. And yes, we're going to be doing these babies on steak, so you're going to cut with the fiber. And by the way, if you want to learn everything you need to know about picanha, check that video in the corner. I left everything there. Everything is there for you. Look at all that marbling and all that intermuscular fat. I'm in love again. And because it's picanha and it's one of the most noble meats out there, we're just going to season with sea salt. That's all we're going to put on this baby because that's all it needs. Now I'm going to let you listen to the sizzling of this beauty. Well, Miss Ninja, we have the perfect tacos here. Oh, yes, they are, but I'm extremely nervous. Why? First of all, you gave me a paper flower, and these tacos are dynamite. <laughs> so, it's going to blow. These tacos are going to be good. Oh, yes, I'm even sweating. Guys, I taste that sauce, and I had a few recommendations for you guys, so pay attention to that. Oh, yes. It can be difficult. All right. And you know what else? Why am I so nervous too? Why? Because I heard what you said at the beginning. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> you want to invite a guy named Joey Chestnut, which Joey is a Chestnut. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez taco eater. I'm a slow eater. You guys know that. He's he will, a fast eater. He will eat this thing in like three seconds. Yeah. So what's going to be left for me? Nothing. You that's think, the way it goes. You think that's fair, guys? All right, Miss Ninja, we have some jarrito here that oh. tastes amazing. If you never tried this thing, you have to try it because this is delicious. Yes, it is. And this is the mandarin one. Woo! Baby. Yee, the mandarin, I love it. Cheers, amazing Ninja. Amazing soda. Oh, so good. Nothing more authentic than a jarrito. Yeah. Mm. And it's time for us to try the tacos, Miss Ninja. Which one you want? Salsa verde or salsa roja? I want... Green salsa first. Let's do it. Let's go. Get the green salsa there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the Man, this salsa is, roja. This is the real deal. This is authentic, guys. This is authentic. Look at this homemade. The only thing that is not authentic here is the picanha, but uh, you know, we have to make it happen some way, somehow. Oh yeah. That picanha is good. Mm, oh my god. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo, baby! <laughs> ninja, ninja. Man. Ninja. <clears throat> it's good, but you have to be careful, right? It's dynamite, baby. Yes, it is. It is 100% dynamite. I just got a bite of the whole thing, but I have mm. to give it to it, guys. This thing is spicy. This thing is amazing. This thing is delicious, brother. 
and sisters. Hell yeah, baby. Oh yeah. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Nothing more authentic than this. Guys, this is the real deal. Seriously. You gotta try everything that we did here today. Well, guys, happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody. We're having a lot of fun in here. And yes. Mr. Georgie, yes. Mr. Georgie is having fun with his hat, too. He's, he's rocking that hat. Oh, yes. Me. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> guys, this is an amazing thing that very simple. Anybody can do, and it's really, really good. It's the real deal, guys. The real deal. Oh, We're yes. going to finish all these tacos now. Yes. And remember, guys, next Friday is going to be an amazing video that I know you guys are going to love. So don't miss it. Hit us with the like. All the information is down there in the description about the whole thing here. Everything is down there for you guys to go ahead and do it. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends and family. And leave your comments down there. We always love to read your comments. That's all for today. But remember that I love you. Mm, we love you. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next one. Yo quiero Taco Bell.